Good morning, and welcome to Greater Little Tech. I would like to congratulate you for choosing and being accepted to our school. My name is Mr. Costa, and I am an assistant principal at the school. You should know that I am also very proud to say that I am a graduate of Greater Lowell. In the next 10 minutes or so, myself, Mrs. Zambino, who is another assistant principal, and Mr. Versalone, a dean at the school, will discuss some very important points about the student handbook. Please give us your undivided attention while we review with you those important topics. First, I want you to realize our number one goal, that is your success. If you have made the choice to attend Greater Lowell, we hope you will stay with us and eventually graduate from here. Upon graduation, we hope to have prepared you for a successful technical career or success in college. Many of our students also decide to enter the military and then pursue a technical career or college. Whatever your choice is, you should be aware that working hard while at our school will enable you to have multiple choices for your future. Please take advantage of all the opportunities at Greater Lowell. The main office where Mrs. Zambino, Mr. Versalone, and I are located is on the first floor right off the bus tunnel. The main office is where you might go if you get lost, need to get dismissed, come to school tardy, or want to report a concerning incident or behavior by a student or students in the building. We have an open door policy and encourage you to come see us regarding any issue that might arise. You should also be aware that you may be called to the office for positive reasons. We recognize students who achieve honor roll status, who are recognized in the newspaper for various reasons, or who are caught doing good. Caught doing good is a slogan we have at the school for students who are witnessed by staff members displaying random acts of kindness or just good citizenship. Our school promotes college and career, but also citizenship, which is just another reason that hopefully helps reinforce that you made the right choice in coming to Greater Lowell. Mr. Zambino and Mr. Versalone are going to review some key points of the student handbook, but you should do your best to read through the handbook so you are not surprised by any policies that we have which may be very different than the middle school or high school you came from. At this time, I will have Mrs. Zambino and then Mr. Versalone speak to you, and I will come back again at the end of this video. Thank you, Mr. Costa. Good morning and welcome to Greater Lowell. My name is Mrs. Zambino, and I'm an assistant principal at the school. As Mr. Costa indicated, we are a technical school that is trying to prepare you for both college and career based upon the technical area you pursue. We have to do that in the same 180-day schedule that your sending schools attempt to prepare you for just college. For that reason, we have to maintain and hold you to high standards. Attendance is the first thing I want to discuss with you. It's very important that you attend school on a consistent basis. Greater Lowell is a great school, but if you don't attend regularly, you will not be able to take advantage of the great technical and academic education that you need to be successful. We have two types of absences at our school, excused and unexcused. An excused absence is something documented by a doctor or dentist. We understand that medical issues can come up and we do not want to punish you for those documented illnesses, but it is essential that all non-emergency appointments be done after school hours or at least later in the day, allowing you to attend school for a majority of the day. Unexcused absences are those absences that are not covered by a doctor or dentist. These are the absences that have to be kept to a minimum if you want to be a successful student at Greater Lowell. We have an attendance policy that states if you exceed three unexcused absences in a quarter, your passing grades and any credits earned will be held. As you can see, this student exceeded the attendance policy last year. Even though he passed all of his classes, his report card showed NC, which stands for no credit. In order to get those credits back, you will need to have consistent attendance the following quarter. Luckily for this student, he prefer performed better the following quarter and his grades and credits were restored. Now, our attendance policy 
does not mean that you can be out three days every quarter and be successful. That just means that we do not believe you can be successful with a pattern of three or more unexcused absences per quarter. Tardiness can also be problematic because you are missing a portion of the school day. Additionally, we would not be preparing you for the workforce as we set out as our goal if we did not take tardiness seriously. For that reason, you need to come to the main office every time you're tardy to sign in and then to have a brief meeting with myself, Mr. Versalone, or Mr. Costa. You need to be in home room each day by 740, and at 747 each day, your homeroom teacher will be posting your attendance. If you arrive after 747, you will need to come to the main office to be marked tardy. Because we take tardiness so seriously, you should also be aware that four tardies in a quarter will result in an absence. This means that three unexcused absences and four tardies in one quarter will result in your grades and credits getting held. If you're looking to get dismissed, it is very important that you bring a note from home with a phone number for us to confirm first thing in the morning. Someone can come in and dismiss you without a note, but that person needs to be on the emergency contact list. That list was filled out by your parent or guardian during the registration process. Those forms are important not only for dismissals, but also in cases of emergency. So again, welcome to Great Alol Tech. I hope you all have a very successful year. And now you will hear from Mr. Versalone, the Dean of Students. Good morning. My name is Mr. Versalone, and I'm a dean here at the school. I want to take a few minutes to review our progressive discipline policy with you, which might be very different than the school you came from. As both Mr. Costa and Mrs. Zambino mentioned, we have high expectations for you as we are trying to prepare you for both college and a career of your choice. For that reason, you have to take your studies very seriously. This includes homework. If you do not complete homework or you engage in problematic behavior in any of your classes, you may be asked by one of your teachers to stay after school. That teacher may ask you to stay with them for what we call a teacher detention, or they may ask you to sign into detention in the cafeteria located on the first floor. It is important that you stay after when told to do so. Every day we have multiple buses that leave the school at three o'clock, so transportation should not be a concern if you want to stay after school for any club, homework assistance, or if you are asked to stay for mandated help or to go to detention. If your behavior needs to be addressed immediately, or you do not respond to the interventions your teacher has attempted, you may be asked to report to the main office to speak with an assistant principal or the dean. Please make sure to report to the main office immediately after being told to do so. We obviously hope that your behavior will not continue to be a problem, as our goal is always to improve problematic behavior and keep you in the classroom so you can focus on your schoolwork. Respect for staff is very important. But respect for your classmates is also very important. One of the reasons most kids want to attend Greater Lowell is because they know we are a safe school and we do not tolerate bullying. We have developed a culture where other kids do not tolerate it as well. Students who witness or become aware of bullying incidents come to us all the time to report this behavior. We hope once you realize the culture here at Greater Lowell, you will also report incidents of bullying rather than becoming a participant in the bullying or just ignoring it. Concerns on social media, such as an inappropriate Facebook or Twitter comments, are also addressed by us. Remember, your comments are not private, and if they are impacting students at our school, we will address it. Be very careful what you post or text, because it may end up on our desks. Cell phones are permitted before, after school, and during lunch. During all other times of the school day, your phone should be turned off and put away in a backpack, locker, or other location where you're not tempted to take it out. If you need to contact a parent or a guardian for an emergency, please utilize the phone in the main office or come down to the main office so we can help you address the issue. Throughout the year, we have many phones that get confiscated and are turned into the office. When that happens, your parent often needs to come to school to pick up the phone. Please don't put yourself in this position. Finally, the dress code at our school is important for you to understand. Make sure to review this policy on page 31 of the handbook. A few important points to be aware of. Short dresses and skirts must be three inches or less in length above the knee. 
Shirts need to have some form of sleeve. This means that tank tops are not allowed here at Greater Lowell. Shirts that are unbuttoned, revealing the chest or stomach area, are prohibited, and they cannot have any writing that promotes drugs, alcohol, or violence. Depending upon the exploratory you are taking, you may need to wear boots or long pants. Please make sure to listen to your exploratory teachers regarding the dress code for their shop. Violations of the dress code can result in you missing out on valuable class time. Our best suggestion, if you are unsure if something is appropriate for school, don't wear it. Err on the side of caution and try to find something to wear that you don't question. Again, we in the main office wish you success in your academics, vocational programs, and extracurricular activities. Have a great school year. Now back to Mr. Costa. Thank you, Mr. Versalone. Mr. Versalone discussed that we are a safe school. We are very proud of that fact. Not tolerating bullying is one reason, but not tolerating drug and alcohol use in our possession is another reason we have a reputation of being a safe school. A student who brings drugs or alcohol to our school is showing disrespect to our school, and we have no tolerance for that behavior. No matter what types of behaviors you engage in outside of school, you must always view our campus as an alcohol and drug-free area. This is for your safety, as well as the safety of all the students and staff in the building. Please make sure you remember that. In closing, I just want to congratulate you again on being a great Lowell student, and I look forward to seeing you around the building. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.